WFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien, coming to you live from TFNN headquarters in St. Petersburg, Florida. It's Friday, 10 a.m. Eastern Time, 30 minutes into the trading day, and we got markets starting off to the positive side. We got a jobs number this morning, 135,000 jobs added for the month of September. We saw unemployment rate now at 3.5 percent, quite a number. Wage growth, not quite there, though. You would expect some wage growth if it was a really tight jobs market. Nonetheless, markets positive territory. S&Ps right now positive by 19 points, 20 points as we speak, trading at 29.31. Dow Jones up 202, trading at 26,408. NASDAQ up 64 points, trading at 79.36. We have gold pulling back. Inverse the market as it's been trading. Gold at negative $9 at 15.0470. Notes and bonds, some mixed action. The 10 year minus four ticks at 131.20. The 30 year plus four ticks at 164.16. And the dollar index right under 99, trading up 95 ticks at 98. 959. We'll start things off. Let's jump over to the indices. We'll start it off with the Dow. And why not? We're going to start it off with the jobs because let's check it out where the jobs are. So the number coming in 136,000 missing the 145 that was estimated where those jobs came in education and health professional and business at the top government under that and you retail minus about 11,000. So with that in mind, we jump back to the charts. And we'll start it off with the Dow. You see the volatility at 8.30 on that jobs number. We trade from 26,099. We're now at 26,357. Highs for the session. NASDAQ 100, much the same. We trade from 76.33. We're now approaching almost 90 points above that level at 77.20. S&Ps go from a trading range of about right at 2,900. We're now a solid 1% above that level, trading 29.31. There's your crude oil market, $53.27. Looking at the November contract. Gold pulling back on that news at 830. Gold 1516, about 1515 coming into that number. Gold trading at 1505. Made it down to a low of 1501. And there's your Euro US dollar, a little bit of volatility as well. When we got that number, you saw the euro spike to a little bit of a low, to a high as well, but the dollar with a little bit of strength, Euro 109.67. Stay tuned, folks. We'll be coming back at 10 o'clock with Tom. Of course, Fast Market at 11 with Kevin Hinks, Alex Coffey, the team at TD Ameritrade Thinkorswim, Basil Chapman, Steve Rhodes, Dave White, Tom O'Brien, all this afternoon. Stay tuned, folks. We'll be right back.